Domo Amejin des. Today、um, we are doing lesson 26, location nouns.、Um, just two things to review these structures: a ni bi ga arimas and a ni bi ga imas. There is a bi at a. There's a bi at a. Okay. And our key sentence today is: Shokudo wa toshokan no tonari des. Shokudo wa toshokan no tonari des. Our vocabulary, we have quite、uh, a lot of vocabulary today because of all the location words that we're going to be studying.、Um, first, some three basic locations a dining hall, shokudo, shokudo. Okay, this is a dining a hall or cafeteria that you normally see at a school, usually a university campus, shokudo. And then the word for desk, tsukue, tsukue, desk. And you've seen this word a bunch of times before, but I've never, I realized I never actually formally introduced it. So I'm going to do that here. Supermarket. Supa. Supa. Okay. And now for a bunch of location words, the word for up and down. The words for up and down are ue is up or above, and then shita is down or below. And then right and left. Migi. This is my right, but it's probably left for you guys. Migi. And hidari, hidari, okay? Behind, ushiro, ushiro, and in front of, mae, mae, okay? And a few more, nearby or close, chikaku, chikaku,、uh, inside something, within something, naka, naka,、um, outside of something, soto, soto, neighboring, tonari, tonari, and next to, Yoko, yoko. Okay. Here's a desk. A tsukue. Okay. Above is ue, and below is what? Shita. Good. To the right would be migi, and to the left would be hidari.、Uh, behind the desk is ushiro. Okay. What would be in front of the desk? Mae. Okay. Mae. These are all basic. Directions.、Um, here we have two houses and a dog. Nearby, remember, is chikaku. Okay, chikaku. Inside,、uh, naka, naka. Outside, soto, soto.、Um, neighboring, okay, is tonari, and then next to is yoko. Now, some people get these a little confused. Tonari is used for things that are of the same type, okay? Similar things. So, two houses, they're neighboring each other and they're next to each other. Two people next to each other. Two dogs, well, two living things.、Um, I don't know, two cars, two flowers, whatever. As long as they're very similar in makeup, then you use tonari, all right? And, and if they're not, then everything just defaults to yoko, yoko next to. Okay, a dog is next to a house, but houses neighbor each other. All right. This word, tonari, you've probably seen it before if you're into Studio Ghibli or、uh, Hayao Miyazaki films because the very popular movie, Tonari no Totoro, uses this word. All right. And it, actually, the English translation is my neighbor Totoro. So they're actually translating tonari as. Neighbor, neighboring, and you do often use it that way in Japanese to when you talk about your neighbors, okay, people who live next to you. Tonari. Let's get into our grammar using location nouns. So, if you want to use a location noun、uh, to give a relative location to something, you state that something and then add no and then the location noun. For example, ano, ano biru no naka. あのビルの中、the inside of that building over there。この机の右、この机の右、the right of this desk、to the right of this desk。Okay? We can use structures like なになにに、なになにがあります、or いますす、for living things, right? To state where something exists along with these location nouns。So here are similar sentences that we saw before。あのビルの中に人がたくさんいます。たくさんいます。There are a lot of people in that building. この机の右に教科書があります。There is a textbook to the right of this desk, probably on the floor, right? 
Let's do some activities um, with our location nouns. There are some words here you, you're not expected to know, so I included this very useful, useful vocabulary list here for you. Answer each question based on the illustration below. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one. Lampu wa、eh, doko ni arimasu ka? Lampu is lamp. Okay, the Japanese took it from English and, and it went from lamp to lampu. Lampu wa doko ni arimasu ka? Where is the lamp? Okay, let's use our location nouns to give its relative location.、Um, let's use the desk. We'll say, tsukue no, tsukue no ue, right? It's on the desk. It's above, I guess you could say, but it's on the desk. Tsukue no ue ni arimasu. Okay, lampu wa. Number two, hon wa doko ni arimasu ka? Hon, books. Where are the books?、Um, this is actually very similar to lamp. Let's just say that <laughs> they're on the desk again. Hon wa、eh, tsukue no ue ni arimasu. They're on the desk. Number three, where is the pencil? The enpitsu. Well, if you look at the illustration, the pencil is below the desk, it's under the desk. So we can say, And number four, Dezoko wa doko ni arimasu ka? Where is the refrigerator? Refrigerator. Dezoko wa,、eh, we'll say, well, there's a few things you could say here.、Um, I'm gonna say it's next to the desk. So, Dezoko wa,、eh, tsukue no yoko ni arimasu. Tsukue no yoko ni arimasu. You could also say, tsukue no chikaku ni arimasu. Um, and I believe, is there a third one? I think, I mean, I,、ah, we can say it's to the right of the desk. So we can say,、えー、机の右にあります Here the answer is in bold. Yeah, there's 右、えー、近く and 横 all there. Activity two indicate the relationship between each given pair. Uh, write one complete sentence in Japanese stating each relationship. So we have three given relationships here. You can see these little、um, circles. We have a dog and a house, and a cat and a bird. Let's、uh, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to give some examples answers right now. Let's start with the dog.、Um, this one's pretty easy. There's really only one thing you could say that the dog is inside of the house. Inu wa、eh, ie no. Naka ni imas, imas, right? Because it, it's a living thing. Let's move to the cat,、uh, the green circle, the cat and the house.、Um, there's, a f- there's a lot of things we could say. We could say the cat is to the left of the house, hidari ni imas. We could say that the cat is near the house, chikaku ni imas. We could say that the cat is next to the house, yoko ni imas. We can say that the cat is outside of the house, ie no soto ni imas. Imas, right? All those options. What about the cat and the bird, the pink circle? Well, <laughs> we can say that the cat is to the right of the bird or that the bird is to the left of the cat. We can say that the bird is next to the cat or that the cat is next to the bird. And in this case, I would use tonari, right? Next to. We could also say they're near each other. Chikaku ni imas.、Uh, we could say a lot of things. Here are a bunch of example answers. Of course, there are, there are also more than this, but、um, these are, I listed these to give you a general idea. So, looking at the, let's look at the. Inu wa ie no naka ni imas. Yeah, we did that. Neko wa ie no hidari ni imas. To the left of the house, yeah. Neko wa ie no yoko ni imas. Cat is next to the house. Neko wa ie no soto ni imas. It's outside of the house. Neko wa. It's near the house. Neko wa tori no migi ni imas. The cat is to the right of the bird. Neko wa tori no tonari ni, tori no tonari ni imas. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Cat is next to the bird.、Uh, and then you can reverse it and say, Tori wa neko no tonari ni imas. Tori wa neko no hidari ni imas. Alright, so there's a bunch of things that you can say. Activity three, use the map to answer each question. 
question. You've seen this map a billion times before. Maybe not a billion, but a lot. Uh, pause the video. Try to answer these questions on your own. I'm going to answer them right now. Number one. 銀行はどこですか? 銀行はどこですか? So we have to find the 銀行 or the bank. Here it is, right here. Um, in relation to the park, the 公園 or the 学校, maybe you could even say the library, but that's more right here. I'm going to say it's to the right or, yeah, let's say to the right of the school. 銀行は学校の右にあります. Now, you don't have to say ni arimas. Uh, you could just say des. All right. And a lot of uh, Japanese in speech use des. Okay. It's fine. It's perfectly normal. You can use that as well. Ginko wa gakko no migi des. Gakko no migi des. Okay. Um, you could also say ginko wa gakko no chikaku des. Chikaku ni ima, uh, arimas. Okay. Number two, スーパーはどこですか? Where is the supermarket? Well, the supermarket's right here. Um, you could say where it is relative to the library or the gym, even the park, maybe. スーパーは, uh, assuming that we're looking at this map head on, right? Uh, assuming we're here uh, looking at the map in this direction then the supermarket would actually be behind the gym, right? So we could say, スーパーは、えー、ジムの後ろです。ですね。Right? Uh, we could also say, because they're exactly next to each other, we could say, えー、隣にあります。ジムの隣です。隣にあります。Okay? Um, let's move on to number three. Is the house um, close to the park? <laughs> no, right? That's one of the farthest buildings from the park. So we could say no. Either one is fine. And number four. no. Is the movie theater to the right of the gym? Well, here's the gym. And to the right of that is, well, the park, I guess. Um, actually, the movie theater is to the left, right? So for number four, we could say, いいえ。えー、映画館はジムの右にありません。えー、左 to the left, right? 左にあります。左にあります。左です。Okay. I think is best, yeah. It's to the left. And number five. 図書館はどこにありますか? 図書館はどこにありますか? Where is the library? This is very open-ended. We could say a lot of things. The library is right here. It's kind of in the middle of everything. We could say it's to the right of the house. So, 家の右にあります。we could say it's in front of the school, 学校の前に。学校の前にあります. Or we could say it's uh, behind the super, スーパーの後ろにあります. Okay. Here are a bunch of sample answers. I'm sure you can find some other ones in here. Um, if you can, post them in the comment section below. I'd love to see them. Ending our lesson now, we are going to listening practice. I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen carefully and write down what you hear. Pause the video if you need more time in case I go a little too fast. Number one. All right. 私の家の後ろに駅があります。私の家の後ろに駅があります。and the answer for that is 私の家の後ろに駅があります There is a train station behind my house. Very convenient. Number two. 隣の建物は映画館です。隣の建物は映画館です。The answer for that is 隣の建物は 
映画館です。The、uh, neighboring building or the building next door is a movie theater, right? In English. Translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video. Take your time. I'm going to show the answers right now. The guy on top says, Shokudo no hidari ni gakusei kai kan ga arimasu. Remember, shokudo is the dining hall of some sort of school, right?、Um, and then hidari is left. So to the left of the dining hall, gakusei kai kan. If you remember this, I think from lesson 18, this is a student union. Ga arimasu. So to the left of the dining hall、eh, is the student union, or there is a student union. The girl on the bottom says, on top of that desk, there's a picture book. Do you remember the word for picture? Picture book? e h o n e h o n Basically, any book with pictures, usually a kid's book. In Japanese, this is Sono tsukue no ue ni e h o n ga a r i m a s Okay, very straightforward. And we're back to our key sentence. Shokudo wa toshokan no tonari desu. The、um, dining hall is next to the library, right? Toshokan no tonari desu. And now for our shukudai, our homework, what's in your bag? <laughs> I thought this was an interesting assignment. Use the phrase,、um, kaban no naka ni nani nani ga arimasu to state what is in your bag or your purse, your backpack, I don't care.、Um, you can make lists. Remember, in our, in our last lesson, we learned about to and ya. So use that to kind of、uh, imply what is in your bag. If you don't know how to say a word, You know, that's in your bag in Japanese. Find a dictionary, look it up, use it, put it in the comment section below. I want to know what's in your bag. <laughs> and of course, there is a worksheet that goes with this lesson. With every lesson, there's a free answer sheet that goes along with it. You can find all this on my website, link in the description below. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for sticking along and watching. I hope to see y'all in a future lecture.